Today we're going to talk about pool valves. Whether you've had a new pool built recently or you have an older pool, chances are you have one of these two valves on your pool equipment. And today I'm going to show you how they work. Valves of course come in many different shapes and sizes, but in the pool world, we really have two most common valves. You have the ball valve and you have the diverter valve. First, let's have a look at the classic ball valve. Now this valve is by far the most popular, especially if you have an older pool. And it's called a ball valve because it actually has almost a little ball inside of there. You can see when you turn the valve, a little ball closes up the pipe inside. And when you open it, the ball opens. So when the handle is going the same direction as the pipe, the ball is open and letting water through. When the handle is turned opposite or perpendicular to the pipe, the ball closes and stops the water. Now when these valves get very old, they get brittle and they break. And some actually have replaceable handles. To see if yours is replaceable, it might have a cap that can be popped off. Some do, some don't. And also when they get old, they just like to jam up and sometimes the ball inside won't fully open or close. And if that's the case, it's just time to change the whole valve. Now the other type of valve is called a two-way or a three-way diverter valve, depending on how many pipes are coming out of it. You might also hear these referred to as a Jandy valve, which is a name brand, but they also come in other brands also, which might look a little bit different, but they all function the same. These valves are much more common on newer pools. Now the diverter valve operates a little bit differently from the ball valve. If you look closely at the handle, it has the word off at the end of it. Some might say closed. This one says off. Now this is letting you know the position of the gate inside the valve. So you can see when I turn it, to one side, then it's actually closing the gate to that side of the valve. So now water is blocked from going in that way. And this side remains open. Or whichever side I turn off towards, it's gonna block that side. Now these handles and the gate diverter inside can actually be replaced by removing these screws on top right here. If you ever do need to open up one of these valves, whether it's because you're changing the diverter or if there's a clog that needs to be tended to, be sure to check out the O-rings because if it's dry rotted or if it's rubbing off on your hands, it's probably time to change it out or it might not seal up correctly when you put the screws back in. These valves also come in automation systems where you would see them attached to a larger box called an actuator this is usually used if you have an attached spa and you need to change over from pool mode to spa mode. Now when you switch over to spa mode, the actuator valves will turn on their own to open and close the correct lines. So if you've been messing with the valves on your plumbing, make sure before you turn anything back on that you have a way for the pump to get water and you're not blocking the water from going back to the pool by having some valve closed. Make sure everything is open and running correctly before you turn the pump back on. Well, that's it, valves are pretty simple. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and like the channel if you got any value out of this and please subscribe if you wanna get more pool info in the future. Thanks, see you next time. So check out how old this Jandy valve is. This thing is really old. It's only got four screws in it. See it says Jandy on the top. It's a pretty old one. You don't see any of these anymore.